Привет. Да. It is really good to see you as well. Well, where to sing in Sukhomyatka? Well, let's chat with us. Pitya. My grandparents are with us. Comes once per year. <laughs> Do you want to talk? You'll come easily. Povinsky. However, this requires a fighter jet's helicopter. Who is it that creates these individuals? Designer. The designer is still a point that sees the developed pump. I see it there, they also developed it there, that I already, well, that is, I see how it still works. There will be a... As far as I know, everyone can do this. And you can too? I can. Only an aircraft engine is more complicated than a pump. The first time I saw an engine, I thought, I don't know how ingenious people have to be to come up with one like this. If you can say the word Mahimo, it's just that for a while she probably couldn't even figure out how it could be done. This is an engine that Mazarino produces, comprising 5,000 parts. 520. Five positions. What could be simpler? Well, look. The engine consists of the component's compressor, turbine chamber, control system, and there is a leading designer. Understand each node. The engine is called dual use. Well, let's say a civil aviation helicopter takes off, goes into mode, and itself slowly to the destination and the combat vehicle is spinning, spinning to dodge. Well, what about your designer? I'll tell my friend now. Well, I figured out what was in the house starting from technology. With all the furniture finished, there are endless possibilities. And from two to four years, I managed to solder one radio receiver. Normal as usual. Everyone at my age probably had a bicycle since childhood. No need, but it had to be dismantled. And collect. And then it became not a bicycle, but a mamapet. Then as I grew up on a motorcycle, that's what happened. Probably this habit is a craving for some kind of work with some kind of hardware, ideas, something. Well, that is, it's too late for me. Why? Probably, at first, I didn't think of working in a team of creators, especially with such complex technology. The coordination engine, well, I wasn't born a very healthy child. My parents were advised to give up sports. They gave me swimming around the age of 13. It happened that while performing somersaults, my head was full and I broke my back. He said that everything is over. There is a chance to remain disabled for life, to stop developing. When I was already in a fairly deep depression, they put a former pilot next to me, who very unsuccessfully jumped from a parachute and everything broke down. He constantly repeated to me, well, those backs there, arms, legs, head, you are healthy. He, in fact, showed me a clipping from a magazine which showed a MiG-29 aircraft. He convinced me that if in life you want to achieve something and create something new, then you need to work in the most complex technology and such. The most complex technology is either an airplane or a rocket. No one thinks so now, only people like me. You. I see. Probably many people believe that there are some kind of people sitting there, blinded by each of their own Kulman with a pencil behind their ear. No, actually, if you climb up to the KP, you won't spot a single person like that. Nowadays, everything is designed on computers, everything is engineered within 3D modeling programs and so forth. Electronic blueprints and models constitute a highly innovative area of expertise. A designer's role involves improving upon existing work and creating something entirely new to bring it to life. 
some kind of breakthrough. And if it doesn't work out? Of course it will work out. There is no such option. At 02 Yalad, I came home and back to the factory and did it. But really, I really saw your mother. Constructors, as a rule, are creations that function perpetually. If something goes wrong for you, it remains in Moscow. You cannot abandon it, nor can you take any alternative actions. A lot depends on your decisions, because aviation technology is not limited to the engine. It's the plane, it's the flights, it's the passengers. Not every decision has to be thought through 100 times. 100 times, calculate. And I believe that an engine of the same level as the jets of our modern aircraft. Yeah, it's in terms of complexity, probably one of the most complex in the world of such technological and technical products. Yes, under the edge of technology, probably which? Well, there are no others that are the most advanced in the world, so such a mechanism cannot be created by one person. I don't know how in the film, Iron Man went to his basement, he did everything there, everything was as it turned out. No, in fact, with the colossal labor of a huge number of people, every mistake there at every stage can lead to serious and major consequences. So everyone has their share of responsibility and everyone approaches appropriately to this work. The engine does not forgive and the indifferent attitude towards the village is quite evident. These are not toys. When all the consortium units have completed their task, that's it. We were painted then. Moving on to another stage of manufacturing. A specific specialist is responsible for each specific nut and bolt of each engine. Sometimes you really get the feeling of eating and throwing away engineering knowledge there that this is exactly the same living organism with its own emotions, with its own mood. You need to deal with it for yourself in a Polish way. And every engine? Many years in art. The engine, it is born from a small node and grows upwards like a house. How? You do it with your hands and your head, I don't know, as a friendly team. That is, it is not one person, because the radiation engine there is a state turbine engine. It is a very complex system. Everything is on the tip of the pen. The formula works here that one head is good, but a dozen is much better, yeah. And then robots will do everything for you anyway. There's no need to think robots will never replace humans in production anytime soon. After assembling the engine, you know, gently, lovingly put it in a horizontal position and leave it in the test room. Uh, in the test shop, uh, very highly qualified guys uh, run around this engine just as gently and lovingly, mainly people who are former flight engineer pilots, and they connect the engine to different systems, sit down at the control panel, which is very similar to the cockpit itself, they control the engine. It will be in different modes. Wow. What if it works? I'm concerned, and you're concerned. Especially if these are some special tests, if these are some kind of first launches. More is probably even present in the wave when you one time the product is placed on the aircraft. When does he make his first run? What are the subsequent steps? For whom is all this effort? Ideally, the pilot doesn't think about the engine at all. He needs to increase power, he needs to gain speed, he needs to complete the maneuver. He just, without thinking, pushes the engine control lever from himself and gets the set. Power to accomplish this or that task, and our task is to ensure the smooth operation of the engine in such a way that the pilot does not even remember why he has speed. Being the first Serena company to put the guided vector Tagi on a combat fighter generated attention, as we were likely the first to demonstrate it at exhibitions. I flew a MiG-29 O in T. No indifference existed. The plane somersaults, stops midair, doing fantastic figures typically seen only in helicopters. They know us. Everything. Globally. In Asia, America, South and North China, and India, our engines. They are among the world's best. Total. My standing opinion is that only the engine flies, the rest gets in the way.
Living on the banks of the Neva, it is above this place that the flight route of helicopters of Slovo Russia airline passes. The company that serves the president's special regiment for the special regiment of this engine only we supply. These engines only go through our hands, not just through our production. There are four helicopters in a row. Of course, it's nice that all these four helicopters are now flying the engines in which you put your hand. So, we understand it well. And not alone. What we're doing here, but basically I'm the world. Machines fly worldwide, being significant global entities. A complex technique that really has an impact on the development of the world as a whole. To work here in this team is to be in a certain front of changes that will definitely be made there. Our whole world is better there. Well, we believe it wholly. Since you realized it was a helicopter engine. Hence, this is crucial. Freedom. Turbine A. For you. The fighter needs a jet supply. Cool. 